Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the Dark Horse Dental Success Podcast. I'm your host, Ruben Camp, and this week we're going to discuss treatment room, operatory, whatever your favorite word to describe where your patients are sitting and receiving treatment. We're going to talk about design for that room. Now, as you guys know, we do 50 to 60 startups per year, and this is something that is a major topic uh, that we dive into on the design call. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here and show you guys what we're doing. Now, something that is hot off the press right now, we are starting to do 3D model renderings. Um, the reason we, uh, and I'll give you a couple examples here. The reason we start to do this because these plans, this is what we work off of, right? This is what we, the electrical contractor, the architect, uh, and obviously the GC, we all want to be operating off the same information. So a 2D plan obviously says one thing, it's a really good layout. However, when we start getting into the treatment room, these chairs look like they're, they're from the 50s. Um, uh, so we uh, need to really have an idea where the TVs are going, how everything's working together. So that's one example. Uh, another office we're working with in the DC area, a uh, little, little more compact rooms. Uh, we're doing corner mounted TVs there. Uh, and then lastly, let me pull up a, uh, a Maryland office. We are working uh, right here. So just to give you guys a good example of that. So when we think about a dental operatory, right, we think about a clock. We think about a 12 o'clock, six o'clock. Really, those are the two main walls we're working with. Obviously, those are three and nine. But the 12 o'clock, that's where the computer and the computer monitors live. So when we start describing treatment room design, we start talking about how many screens do we want back there, right? And so we can go, I've only seen one or two. If you do, if you're a three screen person on the uh, send me a picture. I would love to see it. Uh, but mostly we do one or two. So one, uh, this combined with a uh, secondary screen, usually a TV uh, that is at the at the toe of the chair or the ceiling. This is really meant to be where your practice management software lives, right behind the patient. And then the imaging software is really what's in front of the patient. Now, what's going to change when you have two screens back here? Pull up an example here is your practice management software is gonna live on the left screen still. Your imaging software is gonna live on the right. And then we're gonna mirror that right screen back to the TV. And so we do this so you don't have to like turn around and, and see what's happening on the TV behind you. So this adds a little bit of an efficiency there. Um, you also see those monitors look a little smaller. That's because they are, to, so they're not you know, extending uh, the outside the width of that cabinet we're going to uh, do 22s here. The picture you saw before was a 24 inch uh, single screen. So uh, that's that side. And going to uh, the six o'clock and, and, and ceiling TV setups, we're going to see, this is a very common setup. I would say 80% of the jobs we do, we're gonna do a single large screen monitor at the wall. And then we're going to do the ceiling TV for patient entertainment. Now that TV on the wall, if there's no window, we're just gonna mount it straight, centered, make it look really good. However, if there's a window, we're gonna mount it in the corner, kind of like how you saw in that uh, DC mock-up. All right, going to uh, another example of that same thing. Here's, again, a dual screen setup, one we recently did in the Houston area. And then, Here's another example of that single six o'clock TV with a little bit of an accent wall here in this an office in Memphis that we just did recently. All right, so then let's jump to the six o'clock wall. You can do one, you can do two TVs, <laughs> believe it or not. Uh, I'm gonna show you a real life example during construction while we're doing it. And then also like a post install uh, Instagram post from one of our clients in uh, Mint Hill, a suburb of Charlotte, North Carolina. So here's, you know, mid install, you'll see that bottom TV. You can see how, you know, our website's pulled up there. If you remember when I was showing you the 12 o'clock, that right monitor and that bottom TV are duplicating, they're mirroring, they're showing exactly the same thing. All right. The top TV and the ceiling TV are also mirrored, right? That is the, uh, the system we set up when the doctor says, hey, I want to 
seat the patient. I want them to start watching their, you know, their entertainment. And then I want to come into the room and recline them back, start working on them and everything they were watching. I want them to pick it up seamlessly on the ceiling TV. That this is how we design uh, these rooms when the doctor wants that to happen. So that's what you're seeing here. You're also, this is a cloud uh, style uh, setup. And then I'll give you the Instagram uh, here, Dr. Stephanie, working on a patient there. Again, she chose to do the top screen and the bottom screen for entertainment. Honestly, it's a, it's a matter of moving an HDMI cable, so uh, not a huge deal. Um, and uh, love the backlighting. I haven't seen anybody do that before, so big shout out to Stephanie and Shalini uh, for their practice there. And then the last one doesn't happen that often, but just depending on like what it, what the doctor wants. So, sometimes instead of doing a ceiling and a six o'clock TV, we'll do a ceiling mount that's highly articulating. So you could bring it towards the patient away from the patient. So just to give you a couple of examples, this is an ICW Titan uh, ceiling mount. So this is coming down from the ceiling uh, with a 32 inch TV, and this can be brought pretty much right to the patient's face or it can go all the way back to the wall and you know get out of the way. Uh, this could also be rotated directly down at the patient's face so they could be watching entertainment that way as well. So that's one. And then I'll give you another one. This was a startup practice, Dr. Yu in Kauai, uh, the lovely island of Kauai, Kauai Dental Studio. And uh, same type of mount, this is gonna show you kind of how we, uh, we installed it, you know, cut a seamless hole in the ceiling grid so you don't have any overlap. We hit all the cables, uh, so they're running down through here and then they finally plug into the monitor. You can see a little handle there. So that about covers it for all the different treatment room setups you could have. Uh, I'm Ruben Camp, the owner of Dark Horse Tech. If you have any questions, I'd love to help you out, you know, build your startup or outfit your office so it's a more modern setup. You can reach me at sales at darkhorsetech.com uh, or hit us on our website, darkhorsetech.com slash contact and, and fill out a form on there. But looking forward to talking with you guys. Thanks.